When my wife Sheila and I quit working full time, we followed a dream and bought an RV trailer. We love exploring the country with our dog Ghost. Part of our daily routine is to take Ghost for a walk around the campground. And we're amazed at the number of people camping with their dogs. But occasionally, we're surprised at people's choice for a campground companion. <laughs> well, we have a pig. So he is about eight months old. We got him when he was about seven weeks old. They named him Floki after this crazy character in the TV series Vikings. He only weighed about 10 pounds when they brought him home. Now he weighs closer to 60 pounds. We don't go anywhere without him. Comes okay. out of softball games and everything. Traveling with a pig can be a bit of a challenge. A lot of places say they're dog friendly, but if you want to bring a pig? Well, they tell you no at first. And then you um, call back and hopefully you get the right person. And you ask them to Google mini Juliana pigs and tell them to call you back with their answer in the next 15 minutes. And they call you back and they let you bring them. Because they realize that they're really good animals that don't shed. I mean, they lose some hair, but they don't shed like a dog. They don't make noises like a dog. He's not barking when someone's walking by the hotel room. Um, and they're potty trained. So there's really no reason for them to tell me no. <laughs> yes, the dog sheds a lot. The dog is more on the go, where the pig likes to relax a little bit more. If anything, the dog's the bigger pain in the butt, really. Whereas the pig's like, if you wanna sit on me, next to me, whatever, then go ahead. There's the splash. <laughs> the pig likes to sleep with us. Pigs can jump really high. So we have a king size bed. Um, he jumps on the bed and I always joke that he's the big spoon, I'm the little spoon, and he's just on the other side of the bed. Because <laughs> he will sleep right next to me. RVers are used to seeing a lot of dogs around the campground, but when they see a pig, they're shocked. They want to pet, they want to pet the pig. <laughs> I've often thought that we should just charge 25 cents to pet the pig, because it <laughs> it's a joke. I wouldn't charge anybody to pet my pig. Um, but everybody that goes by wants to pet the pig. Um, they've never seen a pig at a campground. Um, he's like the highlight, typically, of... <laughs> he's the highlight of the camping experience for a lot of people. What's this? And people aren't the only ones surprised to see a pig has moved into their neighborhood. For Pet Pals TV, I'm Steve Schweitzer.